Hey, Pro 2 Lights at Daytona Rallycross. We've seen this before. But uh, we've got some really fast guys in here this time. Um, number three, and I was watching the number one guy just uh, in the practice before the race here. Man, he's just like hitting the perfect line every time. I can't keep up with that. So, <laughs> realistic expectations this race. But uh, should be fun. Uh, it, was it was nice to see there was a decent field this time. There's not always a bunch of people signing up. But uh, we actually got a split, which you never see, it feels like. Messed up that corner. But, uh, yeah, the field actually split. I think we got two splits. We're in the top of those two. So that's fun. And uh, the, guy, the number two guy is real fast, too. So uh, we might end up finishing in third, right about where we're supposed to. But... Uh, Real easy to end up whoo, flipped over too, especially on the starts because they're super crazy. So Got to keep that in mind. Let me not mess up this corner this time. <clears throat> Wasn't that great, but 41.6. That's pretty good for me. The guy uh, I was watching, though, I think he had like a 40.3 or something. Just insane. I don't know how on earth, but... Uh, okay, good enough. Is that better or worse? That was worse than my first lap. Um, okay. 40.9, number 4 car. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not even the fast guy with the pull time. So, we, not, we, we might not be very good. They might not even be, uh, intending to qualify so they're not the ones getting hit from behind on the start that's uh, probably pretty smart to be honest I'm practice my joker here Ooh, almost hit that line can't hit that line on entry you also can't hit this line on exit or you get in trouble sent to the penalty <laughs> the penalty box I think it's uh I forget what the actual penalty is, but it's not something you want. Let's put it that way. So don't do that. Also, don't do that either. Oh, no. Well, I guess we're done. <laughs> uh, that's all right. We shouldn't be too much longer before the race starts. Get that out of my system. So, yeah, let's take a look at that lap and practice if we can. Because that was pretty wild. So... Oh, did they put a qualifying lap in? Yeah, look at that. 40.055. Oh, uh, five. That's blazing speed right there. So we can't watch their qualifying, but I think we might be able to watch their practice, which was a 40.3. So I like to watch uh, fast guys and try to see uh, if I can replicate some of what they're doing. But this guy is really just hitting the perfect marks. He just looks like he's got it down. In just get super close to that wall there on the outside so we can get the perfect turn in. And uh, it's just really, really good precision is what I'm seeing. And, uh, I mean, it's easier said than done. Like, I could be like, okay, yeah, I'll go out there and hit those marks, but <laughs> that's essentially what I'm trying to do already. So, um, keep it realistic, try to just uh, keep it steady and uh, see what I can pull off but uh, with these times I'm seeing it's gonna be difficult like even num number four like my uh, my best laps got erased with my old computer but I don't know, the little practice I did ahead of time my best was a 41.3 so that's still a couple tenths off the guy that qualified second so this might be a tough one um, I think we should be able to beat the five uh, he was in the same practice session, and we were setting some better lap times than him, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. I think with these times, we should spread out pretty good, but uh, we're going to be anything but spread out at the start. So, hopefully uh, not run into each other. And uh should just be another moment here. We're going to be on grid. There 
go. The best uh, lap time up. We'll be setting a couple of those during the race, I imagine. Uh, just because I uh, will be doing another 10 laps or so, hopefully. So where are we? Got a guy on our right. Looks like we're far on the left, so at least we can move all the way over to the left. Probably not the best place to be, but... Sure enough, I believe you cannot take the Joker on this first start. I could be wrong, but I don't think you can take the Joker right away, because you're not even on lap one yet at that point. So I don't think you're allowed to do that. And I'd rather not find out the wrong way. Not that I would even uh, get over there from the far left lane. Get this right. Decent jump. You're on the left. Three wide. We're three wide. That's scary. I was real nervous through there, but it's because I uh, did not want to make a mistake. Blue flag. What you talking about, blue flag? <laughs> we just started. I'm on the lead lap. That was a weird glitch. So we got some space behind us. That's good. Mess that up. <laughs> Trying to look around me and hit my marks at the same time. So this is the part where the guys in front pull away, I think. Because <laughs> they are much faster than I am. So can we keep it steady, keep in front of these guys behind? Is there uh, no slouches either? I think I might have wanted to shift a little sooner there. Alright, we've carved a bit of a spot here. We got a guy taking the Joker. So now he's right up on us again. I don't really want to take the Joker right now either because if I take the Joker now, I'm going to be in front of this four who I think is faster than me. So I'm just going to start getting run over by the guy. So I think I'm going to be patient. I think something might have happened to the two, because he was right behind us. Now he's already a second, 0.8 by, like behind, so I don't think I'm that much faster. He might have hit the wall or something. So I guess we're fine for now. All right, that's good news. Didn't force me to take the Joker sooner than I wanted. I'd rather uh, go take the Joker whenever I actually need to. Say, uh, pass the lap guy, which I don't think there's going to be a lap guy in this race, actually. Or uh, just any time I might run into traffic. If it ever does happen, you know, maybe that five takes the Joker and gets up on me, I don't know. But uh, I want to have that in my back pocket for as long as I can have it. Stay steady under braking. You can see the guys ahead, they're just, uh, they just hit those marks better, man. Not much to say about it. They're more steady and get through the corners a little better. I think I'm gonna need a mistake from them if uh, if I plan on catching them. Some nice laps down though. As long as I can get away from guys and not have to worry about uh, being too wide or anything. I can put some decent laps down. Ooh, no! Woo! <laughs> I almost flipped it. 
Don't do that. That's not the fast way around this place. It's good to get a tiny bit of wheel on that little uh, bump if you can. Helps turn it, but uh, yeah, kind of want it to turn on a zero degree plane. You know, not do a barrel, barrel roll kind of turn. It's not quite what we're looking for. Sometimes I get through there, I just slide too much. I don't know if I'm pitching it or like getting on the gas too hard or something. But uh, that's something I deal with in that corner. I feel like I can go through there a little faster. I don't want to get the slowdown either, even though the slowdowns are super lenient. I think the really fast guys, oh my god, I almost did it again. I think the really fast guys uh, maybe purposely get the slowdown and just let it bleed off naturally. But I'd rather not uh, expose the rules that way if I can avoid it. Alright, two more laps, so these are quick races. I think next time by I'm going to go ahead and take the Joker so I don't forget, because you are required to take it, as far as I remember. You actually get in trouble if you don't take the shortcut. <laughs> well, in some courses it's actually a long cut, so I guess that makes sense. Kind of lost my rhythm a bit as this race went on, but... Uh, well, nothing to lose, nothing to gain, really, at this point. I found my natural spot of third, just as I racing predicted. I knew that one was going to be gone. Let me not uh, mess up the Joker. Alright, hit that pretty well. Good angle into turn one. not flip it. Alright, we made it through the, the flip over corner. The one last time. And uh, number one didn't even need to use his joker to get that huge lead. So he takes it on the final lap and flexes on everybody. <laughs> and we'll just ease it on around on our final lap here and get the third place we were always gonna get apparently. All right, cool stuff. Well done. Decent drive. Kick it flag, kick it flag. Good win, number one. Nice run. Solid work. Just uh, getting away since we got people still running the course. And I'll pull Good over. <laughs> All right. Nice simple uh, dirt road race. Got some good competitors out here. Number one was real fast. And uh, I didn't see too much uh, carnage at the beginning, so that's nice. Let's see if anything did happen. Got the number one being fast out here. Maybe barely tap that inside wall. That's how precise he can be. Number two. He didn't hit anything there either. I think everybody had a very clean race. I wouldn't be surprised if I looked and no one had any incidents. Yep, zero incidents from everybody. Very clean. Good to see in a, in a race where it can be very easy to accidentally slide into someone. But uh, not so many people out here anyway. And <laughs> this is after he won. That's all there was to see. And this is just the one car celebrating. Or the one truck. Doing whatever he so pleases. All right, very simple, very quick race. Uh, Daytona Rallycross, Pro 2 Light. Fun stuff. It's a good, uh, fun way to do a quick race and low pressure, no stakes. So, all right. Uh, that was a fun one. Hope you enjoyed.